Hello guys, what is up? It's me, Control Shift Great Hit, and I'm sorry I haven't made any videos in quite a while, but I'm back, and I'm making a new one. So this is a tiny people mod, and the first thing you might notice is I've changed my skin, and that's got nothing to do with it, and there's a tiny person walking around in the background. So let's just go and have a look at him. Oh, went wrong a bit there. There we go, there's another person. Um, here he is, and this is one of your tiny people. This is a tiny villager. And he kind of looks like a normal person, just he's shrunk a lot, and he's got no face, which is a bit weird. And sometimes I think I'm actually using the Tiny People mod at school, because so many people there are tiny, and it makes me laugh, especially in all the year sevens. Anyway, in my inventory, you may have noticed, I've got all these seeds, and this is how you spawn in these new Tiny People. So this one I'm holding here are the Seeds of Life. And then there's the Seeds of Death, uh, the Seeds of the Fence, and the Seeds of Wealth. So first I'm going to have a look at the Seeds of Wealth, uh, Seeds of Life even, sorry. Um, these are the ones you just saw, if you right click, uh, there's your Faceless Guy. And that reminds me of like the Faceless ones from Skullduggery Pleasant, if you've ever read that. You should. And it says, you proudly look down at your creation. Well, to be honest, I'm surprised I actually created anything, seeing as I just hit the ground with some seeds. But hey, who am I to argue with life? And if you right-click this guy, if I can get all the grass out of the way... Oops, sorry, sorry. Yeah, if you hit them, they'll, like, run and be, be scared, I guess. So right-click. Uh, who am I? And these guys will ask all these weird questions. He thinks he's being followed. I'm fine, thanks. I didn't ask you how you were. I, I clicked on you. Okay, well, he thinks I'm talking to him when I'm clicking on him. But well, let's let him think what he thinks. So next, if we spawn these seeds of death near him, he's going to run very fast, because there's a zombie after him. This is a faceless zombie, and these guys are actually slower than the slower than the little tiny people. And he doesn't seem to be attacking him, he just seems to run off. I don't know, maybe if I make it night time, maybe then he'll... Let's see if that actually makes any difference whatsoever. Oh, well, the zombies are usually meant to actually chase the tiny people. But this guy doesn't look scared. Oh, look, there they go. But maybe they have to be within a certain distance. I don't, I'm not really sure, to be honest. Oh, but they will. Let's make a high level. I know. Let's just make them a little fighting arena. This seems like torture, doesn't it? Oh, no, I've spawned them in a wall. Sorry. My bad. There we go. Um, <laughs> sorry. Okay, let's get in. There we go. And it doesn't actually look... Are they having a fight? It doesn't look like they are. Oh, yeah, it does look now. Yeah, see, the zombies will attack the villagers. One of them's just died. And the villagers won't attack back because they're a bit scared. Man up, villagers. I guess it's a bit like the real zombie raids you get. And because I spawned so many um things in there... Um, a lot of them actually died, so if I press E, and let's check my inventory, there are some things I've picked up. I've picked up some tiny sticks, and some tiny rotten flesh. Now the tiny rotten flesh, um, it's a bit pointless, it's a bit like rotten flesh, except it heals only half a heart of health. But the only good thing about it is that it won't poison you, so if you can eat as many of them as you want, and you won't get poisoned as you just saw. Which is really handy, I guess. Let's put it back to daytime so I can show you the rest. Here we go, the, s the seeds of stone, I think these are. Seeds of defense, my bad. I'll put the crafting recipes in the top corner. And this is my defense guy. He's got no face either, so if I right click him, will he say anything? Oh, if you're feeling up to it, could you gather me some mushroom soup? I've heard rumors, are they true? So this guy is actually quite an exciting person. And if he sees a zombie, if he sees a zombie, he should attack the zombie. Ah, oh, silly idiot. Attack. There we go. So these guys will actually attack each other, rather than just the villager being attacked by the zombie, which is kind of useless. And most of the time, the stone guy will win because he has more health than the zombies. But I'm not sure how many can, he can actually take on without dying. So he killed two then. Uh, will he take on another one? I get the feeling he won't. No, so he can take on about two. 
and I just saw something drop. Yeah, uh, the stone people will drop either tiny stone or tiny, tiny stone sword. And this is just the same as a normal stone sword, except it has half all the durabilities and damage and stuff. So all in all a bit pointless really. And there we go, I've got some more rotten flesh, tiny rotten flesh. Okay, so now let's go on to the final guy. The Seeds of Wealth. So, here's my guy. He's he's kind of a bit of a joker. But I don't know, that's what I think when I see his skin. Red and white makes me think of, like, clowns and people from medieval times. So let's re click on him. Me love gold nuggets, don't we all? You proudly look down. Oh, I just spawned another one. No, I'm trying to right click this dude. Oh, come on. There we go. Maybe one day I can build my house out of gold nuggets. Then I'll finally get a girl. And you'll never get a girl. Taking a dump approximately burns 2,093 calories. Well, that's a bit odd. Okay. So, if I click these, right click these guy, guys with this leather. This leather. Top quality leather. And then he'll give me two gold nuggets. So if I want to spawn in some raw pork, if I can find it. There we go, raw pork chop, everyone wants that. And if I right click him, he will give me one gold nugget. As you saw then, I gave him a whole stack of 64 and he only gave me one gold nugget. And that's a bit of a bug actually, because what you're meant to do, or what's meant to actually happen, is he'll give you one gold nugget for every pork chop. So let's go and right click him here. Okay, so that he gave me one, he's given me another one another one. But here's 61, a whole stack of 61, and he only gives me one because he doesn't realise I've given him 61. So don't give him a whole stack of pork and expect to get a whole stack of nuggets, because he won't. And now one last thing I'd like to show you, if I can find myself a crafting table. There we go. I've got bare at this too many item things. I can actually find stuff now. So here's a tiny stick. If I get a normal stone and just plop it in there, okay, it didn't work. That that's fine. That's fine. I don't mind. If I can find the teeny stone, tiny stone, teeny stone. Some people say it differently. And you can craft things just like normal. So there's a stick, two stone. That's exactly how you'd make a stone sword. But it'll give you a tiny stone sword if you use the if you use the small things. And there's something I've forgotten. I've forgotten the tiny catapult. So if I put this down, you just right click the ground, it took me ages to try and work out what I was actually meant to do with it, you can push them along, it's a bit like a trebuchet, or whatever you want to call it, and this will shoot snowballs if you spawn in any tiny, there we go, he should, let's just try and drop him down, there we go, it's shooting snowballs at him, it's not working very well, yeah so this, yeah, did you see that? It is actually trying to shoot at him. Let's just try and get this guy to actually stay still. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> oh, he wants to be with his friends, does he? Okay, so now let's try and shove that there. Oops. My bad. Oh, come on. There we go. So it'll shoot snowballs at zombies, tiny zombies. But none of these tiny things will ever attack big people, so I'm absolutely fine with these tiny zombies, because they don't really damage me at all. This mod kind of reminds me of the Clay Soldiers mod, because obviously it's just got those tiny people in. I'm not sure which mod came out first, so I can't really say that this is copied, uh, the Clay Soldiers mod, but then I can't say that Clay Soldiers copied this either, so who knows. But this mod is really actually quite a good mod. It's quite fun for playing around with. I don't really think it's that practical for using in maybe vanilla Minecraft if you're just doing some sort of uh, let's play. This isn't really the best mod to use, but it's fun to play around with. So this is Control Shift Create, and I'm going to sign out with the Tiny People mod. Again, I apologise for not putting many videos out over the past week. That's because my microphone uh, went walkies and I've only just got it back. Uh, so thank you and goodbye.